Okay, I made it. The squares in general in Philadelphia are all excellent. And all of them deserve a place on the favorite places list. Unfortunately, due to time constraints, I can only hit three out of four. Third, uh, third and final uh, square for now is Franklin Square, which, again, found out in, about in 18 and 19, pre-COVID, and hopefully now on the back end, getting into post-COVID, um, that they have different events here during the summer and during the year. They, um, right there with Fountain East, they do an amazing, they, amazing light show for the holiday season. Um, May, I think. Again, another great place to stop, take a break. And this is kind of like written house where you're in the city, but you're, you get away from the city at the same time. I wish I had time to take a short break here, but unfortunately, you get time constraints. Beautiful fountain, places to eat. Um, what, now, each square here in Philly has their own unique identity, for lack of a better term. Franklin Square, you know, you saw, you saw a fountain up at Logan. Franklin Square, the carousel, and I think it's open, miniature golf. And I know, again, pre-COVID, I'll have to get an update, but post-COVID, pre-COVID, you can miniature golf at night, even in winter. When I was out here for the holiday, the holiday edition in 19, I was tempted to, but I have an aversion to intention of trying to get frostbite and hypothermia. <coughs> um, you know, but this is, these are the places to go in Center City in the old, old city here in Philadelphia. Again, like Rittenhouse, you're, you're here, you hear the city, you see the build, some of the buildings, but you forget about the city to a point at the same time. It's just so... You know, that's what I love about these. Um, happens to be up in New York in my two favorite parks up there. I'm not talking about Central. I still haven't been there yet. But I don't think miniature golf is open. I'm not sure. But right, right there is the miniature golf. Like I said, pre, you know, pre and post COVID, they uh, pre COVID, and hope I'm praying it returns right here. Is a beautiful wild light show a few times a year. Um, Franklin Square is, if you're coming down Market Street, the Independence Hall Visitor Center, take 6th or 7th Street, take 6th Street, two blocks back, two blocks off, two blocks off, behind the Independence, behind the uh, Visitor Center and Independence Hall, boom, you're right here. So, and as you can tell, Philadelphia is back to living and back to life. Michael Phoenix, founder and staff of Surreal Veil City Online Media, in the place where it was born, Philadelphia. And it's good to be back, and it's good to be home in the city again, after 18 months. I said this in every article, this is the Philadelphia officially, is the official return to covering events and getting back, getting away from doing just the press releases and getting the media back to life. I'm doing it, my media's doing it. Make sure you do the same thing. Time to get back to life and living.